It's coming from one member of the exonerated five, formerly known as the Central Park Five. After spending eight years behind bars, Kevin Richardson was set free in 1997. And now he's sharing his story with people right here in mid-Michigan. News 10's Riley Connell here in studio with more on that. Riley? Yeah, Ann and David, Kevin Richardson joined Michigan Supreme Court Justice Kyra Harris Bolden at the Kellogg Center earlier today. They're kicking off a speaker series brought to us by the Lansing Economic Club. Richardson says he uses his freedom to speak out and be a voice for the voiceless. My whole story and who I am is three words, courage, perseverance, and resilience. And you put those all together, CPR. And because of that, that's making me bring, you know, bring life back into everyone. Eight years behind bars for a crime he didn't commit. Kevin Richardson was only 14 years old when he and four other then teenagers were convicted of the rape and murder of a woman in New York City's Central Park. I'm talking about 1989, I was a teenager at the time, and now I'm 49 years old. So I go almost my whole life I've been going through this type of situation. After another man's confession to the crime set Richardson free in 1997, he struggled to find his place in a community that no longer trusted him. Since then, he says he's finally found the courage to speak his truth, advocating for criminal justice reform and raising awareness to the prison system impact on people of color. You know, my mother grew up in the South and she grew up in the Jim Crow era. And if you think about it, not too many things has changed. At the forefront of my mind is always how justice is determined in the state of Michigan, knowing that we are a lot of people's last resort. Michigan Supreme Court Justice Kyra Harris Bolden leading a discussion with Richardson in East Lansing and sharing her own drive to prevent false accusations. My great grandmother told me the story of my great grandfather who was lynched in Tennessee in 1939 and uh, the injustice that occurred in my family really fueled my sense of justice. Richardson tells me the time that he spent in prison shed light on the number of people, especially black men, who are serving time for crimes that they didn't commit. He's hoping his partnership with the Innocence Project will help to set more people free. Back to you, Anne. Riley, thank you. The Lansing Economic Club will host the next installment of its speaker series in March with a women-led panel discussion for Women's History Month. Our warmer than normal winter has melted away another tradition as an annual dog sled race in the UP is canceled this year. Organizers of the Copper Dog 150 say they need six to eight inches of snow for the race to be safe for the dogs and they just don't have it. Though the main event is canceled, Copper Dog 150 will still be having activities over the weekend like fireworks, a banquet and a street party. All of the would-be mushers have been refunded and organizers are working out alternative deals with their sponsors. Some kids' dog sled races are still going on as expected. Well, people and their pets enjoying a sunny day at Bailey Park in East Lansing. Some snow is on the way, though. Andy maps it all out for us when we come back. Plus, some local businesses are feeling the love today, how they're cashing in on some last-minute Valentine shoppers. That's next. You're watching News 10 at 6 with David Andrews and Ann Emmerich. 